like, share, subscribe, and start a new day of get some of your food. I understand. Clark, then me don't want you to lie down at night. <laughs> it's a prank. Hey, it's a prank. Me not prank. Me not, me not prank. It's a prank. Me yeah, not prank. She's <laughs> yeah, yeah, time, You get time. Oh. You get time. You get time. You get time. Do John Griffiths. You know I'm dead because you killed me today. Do John Griffiths, you know I'm dead because you killed me today. When you met me up, you go identify my granddaughter and my daughter in the morgue. Do John Griffiths, you know. Do John Griffiths, you come from Jamaica and you don't have nowhere to stay. And my daughter and my boyfriend take you in the house. Then Kara come and my yard in Miami and I take up my hundred dollar gift to you because guess what? You didn't have nothing. And they brought you to their home. And you did this to them, do John. Do John. Anybody can say anything or social media and this and that and rare Be my guest. I am dead already. Me know I'm dead. Cause you killed me today, do John. Do John, you come and my yard. You kill me. All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Man, listen, in these times, you have to really, really be careful who you call your friend. You know what I'm saying? You definitely can't trust stranger. And most of the time, you can't even trust family. This story right here is straight out of Florida, which is my state. So this shooter killed the mother, left the one-year-old to die in the car, and also killed the father. These were his best friends, according to other sources and according to the mother of the woman who was killed and the grandmother of the baby girl who died as well. This is news straight out of Orlando, Florida. It says that the deputies here in Florida are searching for someone called Dujon Dwayne Griffith. This article was published September 10th of 2021 and I am going to give it to you straight no chaser along with everything else that has been going on surrounding this because you know when things like this happen the streets start talk they're from Mobe, Montego Bay Jamaica enough people call Mobe a chop city chop city or scam city or the, ca the scamming capital so there are a lot of people that have these perceptions of what these this young couple might have been involved in and there are people who knew them from before this happened and they're letting out their little ones and twos here and there but let's go straight off the news first so orlando florida authorities are seeking for a person of interest in the death investigation of a woman and a one-year-old baby who were found dead in a car near Lake Eleanor, according to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Orange County Sheriff John Mina said that they are looking for a 21-year-old Dojan Dwayne Griffiths in the death of 20-year-old Masanya Malcolm, who was found shot to death, and her one-year-old daughter, Jordania. Mina said a cause of death has not yet been determined for the baby, but investigators believe that she died while being in a hot car. As the story goes, this man kidnapped this woman and her child. He shot her to death and then he left the mother in the car dead with the baby and apparently the baby was locked in the car, did not know how to get out. Could you imagine what kind of death this baby died? I want you as a grown person to go lock yourself in a sauna and stay in there and no way out. Oxygen starts to deplete. You start to gasp for air. This wicked, wicked Ross. And the relationship that he had with the couple that he killed so in other words 
This suspect left the baby to die in the car is what the sheriff department is saying. So for those of the people out there who are passing around that, oh, him shoot up the beer because I see a lot of comments out there and people are saying, so flow, they're sending this to me, so flow. The bird, the bird are wicked enough. Him turn the gun upon all the beer, you know, boss off the baby head. And that's a lie. This is directly from Florida Sheriff Department. And they're saying that the baby didn't have no gunshot wounds, but the baby did die in the car. And apparently the baby died from being locked in the car and the car becoming too hot. This time of the year in Florida, we have 100 degree days. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, the suspect allegedly left the baby to die in the car. The sheriff said that the two victims were most likely in the car for a couple of days. That means that baby was sitting in that car, hot car, for a couple of days with its dead mom. Mina from the sheriff department said that deputies responded to reports of a shooting earlier Tuesday morning and found a man in his 20s who was shot multiple times. Mina said that the man told deputies that a friend shot him before he was taken to the hospital for surgery. If you've seen the video, which we will play here, of the mother of the female or the grandmother of the little girl, she is tearfully speaking. Dujan, you kill me, you kill me, right? In that, you can hear her actually say, you thought everybody was dead. You thought everybody was dead, but they, they weren't. So right here from the police report is saying that he was able to speak and say who did it before he was taken for emergency treatment, surgery at a hospital. Shoot up the man multiple times. This is your best friend. On Thursday morning, the sheriff said that a family member of the man contacted authorities and said that they were not able to get in contact with Malcolm, the man's girlfriend, and their daughter. Once the man regained consciousness, Mina from the sheriff department said that he told deputies that he was shot. He even described how it happened. He was shot while in the driver's seat of the car he was in with his girlfriend, his baby, and his friend, Griffiths. Griffiths was the one that shot them up. Investigators learned that Griffiths was staying with Malcolm, her boyfriend, and their child. The man said that he believed that his girlfriend was shot as well, and he believed that the friend drove off in the car with Malcolm and the baby according to Mina. So for those of you who are guessing still, this is exactly how it happened. People have said the youth was chopping. Chopping means you're scamming. You're getting money, right? You're banger, working. It means your phone, your dashboard phone is working. Just a little insight for those of you who don't understand the lingo, but end of the day, something went down in a vehicle. Here you have a mother, her child's father, or her man and her child's father and the baby, all three of them and their best friend. Their best friend is actually living with them, staying at their house. So to let someone into your house, to stay at your house, again, if you listen to the grandmother talk, you will hear the grandmother say that they helped him all the time. They brought you to my house in Miami and I took my last $100 and gave, gave it to you for you. You see that sorry for manga dog something there? You know when you just come up from yard and you're not to hit your strides yet. You're trying to get yourself together, find your place, get a job, you know. Um, put your foot on the ground, get ready. It's good when you have good people around you. It's good when somebody can say, hmm, come stay with us man. See a room there and when you find a job, you know, work it out and help you pay a little light bill around here and that. We just want to see you get on your feet. They were that kind of a friend to him. And even more, he's living in their house. First of all, I'm not moving in no friend in my house with my woman in the same house. That means this man trusted you beyond trust. Okay, 
any regular person out there is not just going to go move in a friend with their spouse living in the same house. So anyways, they were looking out for him and he paid them back like this in return. There's a lot of talk surrounding this that, listen, people don't kidnap people who work nine to five. This brother and his girl are not innocent. They were into something. Their best friend knows what they were into and he was tracking the money. The money or the drugs. The money or the drugs came in and he seen it and he wanted it. So he held that iron to them and shoot up the brother. He pushed him out of the car. Remember, he lost consciousness, regained consciousness, according to this police report, and spoke to the police and told the police, I was sitting in the driver's seat. I was the one driving. My girl was there. My child was there. And my best friend, Griffith, was there. This is what he told the police. He jumped in the seat, shoot up the man, pushed him out of the car, jumped in the seat, drove off with the car, Lord knows what was in the car, drove off with the car, and the female in the car, and the baby. Now I'm wondering, while he is shooting up this guy, he gets to do all this, to take the brother out the car, to put himself in the driver's seat, to drive off with the car. What was she doing? Was she not screaming? Was she not trying to escape? She probably didn't want to jump out of the car and leave her baby in there. You know what I'm saying? So it went down like that. But a wicked, gruesome act from somebody who is supposed to be a friend. The man said, this is the guy who got shot. This is the father of the baby who died eventually after. He said that he believed that his girlfriend was shot as well, is what he told the officers. And she was shot. He believed that she was shot as well. And the friend drove off in the car with Malcolm and the baby, according to Mina. Afterwards, deputies found the mother and the daughter dead inside a vehicle found near 6100 Lake Eleanor Drive. This is horribly tragic case that has shattered two families. Mina said that the sheriff's office has an arrest warrant for Griffiths for attempted murder in Tuesday's shooting. He is also a person of interest in the shooting of Malcolm and the death of the one-year-old Jordania. Now, it's funny how they report the news. He is also a suspect in. More than likely, we know that it was him that do did it. But these people report this kind of news as in what you can prove. You understand? So this is where the news is at. And this is what it is. And this is his picture. And I want you to play paste that picture all over the place. Show people it. Help them to get this person off the streets. You know what I'm saying? Help them to get this person off the streets. 20. This is a young person. Look at your mentality. Him get the opportunity. He came to the land of opportunity. You know how many people have broke them neck for reach inside of the United States of America. Even when there are people that are cussing it. Even those who curse it want to come. You know why? Because when you reach here, if you are a hardworking person, you can actually make life. Nobody ain't stopping you here from working two and three jobs. Some places where we're forwarding from, where we're coming from, we can't even get one job. There are people here that work at Burger King and McDonald's and make more money than people back home where we come from that work some kind of a prestigious job. So the opportunities are here to better yourself. Who come here and want to go to school, then work two jobs, send themselves to school, and before you know it, they're down to one job. Before you know it, they have a degree and they're in a career field with a lucrative outcome and building a family and reaching back, helping their families back home. That's what it's supposed to be about. In any event, all the side talk about the couple into scamming or they're into drugs running and all these things, I have no proof of that. And I want you all to know that this is a rumor 
that I don't know anything about. You will hear these talks, you will see them in the comment section, and they might relate to the death if you're looking for details as to why he did this, why he did this to his friend, to his best friend. It's sad. Leave your comments in the comment section below. One advice though, I bet you he is on his way to Jamaica because where else would he go? The American authorities want you, buddy. And youth, let me tell you something. When they catch you, right? You already know what the Shreps is. See? Mr. Dujon Dwayne Griffiths. You already know what time it is when they catch you. This is the United States of America. The Maga Fryer. A baby was involved. This is triple homicide. Because you caused the death of the child by murdering the mom and leaving her in the car. And you thought that your homie, your best friend, supposed to be your brother, your ride or die. I can see why all these uh, dancehall artists make all these songs about friend killer and best friend killing you and all this. Because it's true. Very, very true. Sorry for Marga dog. Them turn around bite you. You know, we did a video not too long ago where we talked about be careful who you file for and bring come far in. They probably didn't file for him. But maybe we should name this one. Be careful who you try to help when they come from back home. And the reason why is some of these people are criminal minded and they were already involved in criminal activities back home. You don't just wake up one day and commit an act like this. This is something you've been doing. Okay. So shout out to the people them who keep criminal friends around them. They're only cool until they turn on you. Yeah, man, I'm a brethren and my shot. I know I have how much bodies. Yes, that's telling me that he will or might turn on me and I might become another body count for him. You understand? Be careful of the friends that you keep. Be careful of the character of the friends that you keep. Like I got left that one there, right? That's up. Jamaica, seal your borders or start combing through and look for him there because I'm pretty sure he's probably on his way to Jamaica. That's just my advice. If they don't hold him here first, go to the places that he used to live when he was there. Go to his family members, stay on them. If him have a sister or a brother, I guarantee you he's been in touch with somebody from his family and somebody from his family is going to help to shield him. They might say, boy, I don't you know where you're getting there, you know, but we love you and blah, blah, blah. We can send a little thing for you and hope so you're all right and hope you get out of this. Family be the last to accept and admit. They be in denial most of the time. So the goal right now is to get this wicked bumble hole off of the streets as soon as possible. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Shout out to my Florida family. If y'all know this brother, put some comments in the comment section. If you know the couple, put some comments in the comment section. All the talk they talking about what the couple was involved in, put some comments in the comment section. And I'll catch you on the next video. My condolences goes out. It break my heart, man, when I saw the mom, which is the grandmother. After I watched her vlog videos as a vlogger on YouTube, and then I saw her mom in the video. And then I saw her mom speaking about how the John, you kill me, you know? Yeah, I'm dead already, Kai. You kill me today. That was so heart wrenching. So my condolences goes out to her. She's going to have to do something that is like a parent's worst nightmare is to bury your child. And not from sickness, but from a tragic, swift ending. And not only her child, but her grandchild as well. Damn. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Do John Griffiths, you know I'm dead because you killed me today. Do John Griffiths, you know I'm dead because you killed me today. When you met me, I go identify my granddaughter and my daughter in the morgue.
No Chad Griffiths, you know. No Chad Griffiths, you come from Jamaica. And you don't have no way to stay. And my daughter and my boyfriend take you in a the house. Then Kara come to my yard in Miami. And I take up my $100 gift to you. Because guess what? You didn't have nothing. And they brought you to their home. And you did this to them, do John. Do John. Anybody can say anything on social media and this and that and rare Be my guest. I am dead already. Me know I'm dead. Cause you killed me today, do John. Do John, you come on my yard. You killed